Uh, Surratt, how do you set this up? You know, Frank Luntz, I don't know if you saw him just in the last hour, effectively said he thinks the Democrats are going to win. Do you think that's what the market thinks? I think right now it's, it's very uncertain. And I think what the market's thinking is that interest rates are going to go up and that's going to cause the market to have a rotation. And if rates go up, this whole complacency that we have in this market about tech stocks only going up because interest rates are going to be low, I think is going to be a wake up call for a lot of investors. The real economy, the reopening economy is coming. And yeah, we have a bridge to it and it's going to take a few months. But when that happens, we're going to go back to where we were about 18 months ago. And I think a lot of new investors don't understand that. And I think that rotation, that uncertainty, that fragility is going to cause uh, so, some turmoil in this market. Victoria, are you expecting a pullback? Byron Wien thinks we, we I mean, I don't know if it's, it's a surprise. It would be a surprise that he thinks we could go back, go not to a bear market per se, but that we could have a real pullback. Yeah, I saw Byron say we could uh, see maybe up to a 20% pullback. I'm not sure we get that far um, on a pullback, but we wouldn't be surprised to see some a pullback in the markets, and we would actually expect that to happen. You look at this Georgia election, and you know, in the longer term, I think you get the traditional ideas of um, the markets like more of a divided government, and so they wouldn't like a Democratic sweep in this. But in the short term, I think the markets would actually benefit from a Democratic sweep here for the sheer fact that they think it's going to be a larger stimulus package that is going to lead to higher rates, um, as Surratt mentioned a moment ago. So we'll see that curve steepen a little bit. But I think you'll get a little bit of a pullback. And it's why we've been telling clients, don't go all in on these reopening trades because you're going to get that whiplash. Have some exposure to cyclicals for reopening. But we also like to have that exposure to the growth side of the market, even though it's had a good solid run, because we think that that's where the longer term trends higher in the market are going to be. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.